In this video, we're going to be using Harper AI to generate blog post ideas. This fits in really, really well with the playlist that I'm creating because I'm trying to give everyone as many ideas as possible to generate keywords, generate niches, and to write content. Just so you know, I'm just doing this as quickly as possible to just get it done so that I have an entire playlist with as much content on as possible that people can just devour, okay? So if you watch the entire playlist, I'll show you how to make a website, how to write content, how to find keywords, etc., etc. Now, this is going to be after the first month, two months, after Search Console has collected some data. Now, this is Tiny Home Hub. This is the website that I'm currently working on the most, I would say, except, well, yeah, because I'm on holiday. So, yeah, definitely these ones. And basically, yeah, 251 impressions. I don't look at clicks um, because a lot of my viewers are clicking so i can't really count clicks just yet but in the future hopefully the amount of organic traffic will just eclipse the viewers who watch uh, who click on my website but what i wanted to show you is harper ai and how we can use it to generate some ideas so assuming you have search console set up and assuming that you have a few months worth of data what you want to do is you want to click on pages you can put this on 16 months if you really want, if your website is quite old, but obviously it's pointless for Tiny Home Hub. And you don't have to sort it by impressions or anything like that, but you can if you want. And then you do rows per page and put it on the maximum amount possible, okay? And then we're gonna click on Harper AI and we're gonna say, can you give me some unique new content ideas for this niche? And we'll see what it comes up with. These are tailored suggestions for your website, which is exactly what we need. So sometimes you have to play a little game with ChatGPT. So I didn't really like the first generation. So I said, can you just give me 20 new blog post ideas, basically? So here we go, tiny home security. Now this is a really good one because this is a perfect article for Koala to write, for example. And it's an Amazon affiliate article but also it will bring in traffic. So what I like to do after I've been suggested a keyword by ChatGPT is just verify it. Although to be honest with you, I, I can kind of tell that this is a good keyword already. What this now does is it gives you other ideas. So smallest spy camera wireless, which is good for tiny homes, obviously. Tiny security cameras, tiny cameras for home, but it's not actually tiny home security, okay? It's getting a little bit confused between tiny cameras and like actual tiny um, house cameras. So there is demand for tiny house cameras, but it's obviously not as big as tiny cameras, not for tiny homes, just generally. Uh, so yeah, tiny home gardening is another good one. What well, I just like to run it through just to see what kind of um, demand you can expect. This is big, actually. Uh, this is small house gardening, though, not tiny house gardening. But I guess we could get on there. We could definitely get on uh, on you know these keywords. It's not really a big issue here. These are pretty relevant to the topic, so definitely can um, make some moves there. Tiny home interior design styles. This would be good, but you would have to make all the images yourself, probably using Mid Journey or copyright free images or Article Fiesta. I guess might also be able to do it. There are some very, very good ones here, though. Tiny home financing could be a great way to get some affiliate links to some, you know, bank lenders or to private lenders or whatever it might be. That might be a really, really profitable affiliate marketing scheme. This would take a lot more effort to do that, but it would be worth it in the long haul for sure. Tiny home, and then I don't even know what this word is. <laughs> I literally don't know what that word means. What is that? Is it like the Japanese, oh, Haiji is often informal times together with family or close friends. Typically the setting is at home. So this is just something that we could just grab. Like, I reckon this is going to be trending. It seems like a trending keyword. Even if it's not, like, we can, um, we can definitely incorporate this into uh, our niche very, very easily. We can write... Tiny home, uh, I don't want to even try and pronounce it just in case I have any Danish watchers. So this word, uh, and then just write an article about that or just write an article about what is this word. <laughs> in general, I'm very, very happy with the results here. They're very, very long tail, very, very interesting um, keywords. 
And what they kind of do is they mix two things together. So tiny home learning spaces for homeschooling is very, very interesting. Let's say something like, can you give me 20 articles specific for Amazon affiliate marketing? Let's see what it comes up with here. Again, a lot of these ideas are great. I mean, this one here I've already done kind of, although I've only talked about portable solar panels. I haven't talked about general solar power solutions. Kitchen gadgets, that's a good one for sure. Like mini kitchen gadgets for tiny homes. Outdoor living in tiny homes, Amazon products for your mini oasis. This is a good one because a lot of people who live in tiny homes will want to expand outwards instead of inwards, so it makes a lot of sense. Creating a cozy bedroom, I really, really like this as well. And what I did first was, actually, I don't think I have an article on this, so yeah, this is a really, really good one. These are really, really, really good suggestions. I'm going to probably copy these, and I'm going to use these on my flow. So basically... My current flow looks something like this. So I'll get these articles here, and I really like the bed one. So let's just do that. Creating a cozy bedroom, Amazon picks for tiny homes. So what I do is I go to Koala, which I personally think is really, really good for affiliate posts. Okay, but it's not great for... Um, it's not great for blog posts. It's just good for Amazon product roundups. So we'll do 15 products here and uh, make sure you have the tracking URL. Amazon search URL, I don't really bother with. This is all fine. SEO optimized, SEO optimized. Okay. And then I just hit create article. And then I make sure that the content that it's creating is relevant to what I want it to be relevant to. I don't want it to start writing about some crazy stuff. Looks like it's relevant. We'll see what the first product is. From space-saving furniture to cozy bedding, we've got you covered. Check out our top picks below. Perfect. This image does not work. That's interesting. Let's see the image. Page not found. Mm. So what I think has happened here is the keyword is too specific. So what I'm going to do here, this is the good thing about it. I can stop stop it here. I only wasted 1,000 keywords or 1,000 words. It's annoying, but it's just, you know, that's how the tool works. So we have to deal with it. Well, this is too, um, too big. So making bedroom, how do you say like stuff, things? Okay. So let's search this. So we've got curtains. Yeah, this is more like it. Yeah, this is more like it for sure. Okay, so let's try this again. Bedroom things in a tiny home. What I think it does is it searches that on Amazon. So we'll press create article here. And hopefully it will do it a little bit better this time. Yep, perfect. It's doing exactly what I wanted to this time. So it's doing um, products. Although I don't think stars is necessary. The first thing people would want to see. We could always mix that. We can move this down, move this up, whatever it might be. Yeah, there we go. So now it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. It's showing you how to make a cozy bedroom in a tiny home with safe space, space saving materials, etc. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I really, really wanted to make this because I'm really enjoying using Harper because of the way that it allows you to integrate ChatGPT with your own data. I find that really interesting. That's super, super important to me. There are many other things you can do inside Search Console as well. You can say list all of my internal links as a relative internal link without the HTTPS tiny home. Oops. Tiny home hub dot IO. And then hopefully this will just do it first time. Yeah. So if you want to get your um, internal links in kind of order of impressions, this is a really, really good way to do it as well. So now I know that these top 10, top 20, top 30 are my most important pages that are driving the most traffic to the website. So that's a really, really good way to get internal links as well. It's much better than just going on the sitemap and saying, give me internal links, or it's much better than the thing I showed yesterday where you use Harper with um, Google using a search operator like this. 
they both work pretty well, but to be honest with you, I think this is even better because it's using your important data like clicks and impressions. Thanks for watching. I'm going to keep pumping out the content because I'm enjoying it. Peace out.